Me and Jack are on a mission. We had to pick up some uh, honeydew stuff. Take a look at the bay. See what it looks like. You can see that it's really, really windy. Look at them trees blowing. I mean, it's cooking. Probably 20 or better, maybe 25. I'm going to ride down here and see what the bay looks like. Be too rough to go to the bay anywhere today. We have to go to the land of Nala. But stand by, let's take a look at it. You can see it's rough as bricks. The tide is high. It's a shade before 10, just a minute or two before 10. I don't think the tide's low to 430, but we won't go here today. You can you see the reason for that. Stand by for this afternoon somewhere. The land of Nada on Wednesday. The low tide's about uh, two hours, I think. Maybe an hour and a half. Beaver's here somewhere. That's all I know about it. Hello? The tide is made off good. Look at that. The tide. <laughs> Look at that tide. Yeah. Stand by. Well, the first target. We've been here three minutes. It's at 1217. Is it going to be a pull tab? A nickel. What do you think? 1217. Strong. That's choppy, but we got it. Looks like bling. It is bling. Some kind of bling thing. Alright, Mr. Glenn, I see you. Right. Glenn said uh, Beaver's already got a gold ring and earring. And uh, something else he said. Damn. At least we know something here. Oh, Beaver. He got a, a, a L sup. Glenn said he found a, a really deep target. He dug and dug, he couldn't get it, so he gave it to Beaver. It was an iPhone 6. Larry's in the lane. Larry said he found two iPhone 6s in the last four days. We're gonna see some gold here in a minute. There's a gold man right there. Come on, let's see that's ticket. Oh, Tiquito, I heard about it already. Oh, surf line, surf line news. And another guy who says he knows you down the way from like Missouri. He's yeah. Guy who, he says he's known you for like seven years now. Uh, oh, that's a nice looking one there. The tiny one. Yeah, it's got a lot of ice on it too. Yeah. Ought to be another half of that somewhere. What's that? Ought to be another half of that somewhere. That's a mate, see. Oh yeah? You know where you found it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I know exactly where I found it, but I already I have been hunting there for the last hour and I haven't found anything else because I found this there. Yeah, that don't match up though. No, I know there that. There is another well it could be another half of this. Yeah. It looks like to me. What's that? 14. I didn't I didn't I could I couldn't see inside of it. Without much ice, at least it's gotta be at least four days iPhone 6. In a waterproof case. Well, and it's a waterproof. It's a it's a water resistant case, but not anymore. It keeps the water in. Take it home and dry it out if yeah. I you never know. <laughs> in that same area, I got another earring, a bra copper bracelet, and the earring is actually bigger than the bracelet. 
10K. You said it? You saw 10, it? 10K. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got some, 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 some stuff there. All right, a little bling, you know? Yeah. Let me see that phone. I'm gonna to send two of them off to. Uh, how much do you think? How much do you usually get for them? Nothing. They're... I don't think they're worth nothing. They no, won't no, pay us nothing for them. Fifty dollars. Okay. What how you mean? making out down here today? Not, not good. I'm Earl. Who are you? I'm Max. Are you Max? Yeah, here's Max. I met you six, seven years ago. <laughs> out here. I didn't know you were still hit, hitting the links. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not hitting any rings, but I'm out here. <laughs> that fella was out, John. He. Uh, he came up to talk to me about 20 feet from me and found found my ring. Yeah, he's bad. Yeah, he I told him it looked ring. like it looked like it needed another half somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like one of them rings that you lose. It should be another half to it somewhere, you know. <laughs> yeah, he found one though. Yeah, he did a pretty nice one. Yeah. How long are you gonna be down for? That's Earl and his wife. <clears throat> Earl said he was here seven years ago. He's from Missouri. I guess you might have heard that. He might join us for dinner tonight in the cafe, he said. Low Tide Tim's birthday is today. He's a day older now. You take him to see the Ramazan and the Mayflower. The doggo. <coughs> and some bling. Yellow tickets. Well, let's make out. I got a bling bracelet and a oh, piece yeah? of piece of bling and a couple of quarters, dime and a nickel. Yeah, it's about the same back down pennies. this way too. That, that was the best of it, I guess. Yeah. No more. Yep, I had to go back before my parking expired. Got about 10 more minutes. Yeah, I'm going back too. As soon as I go right there. Damn tickets. I gotta well, you, be, got, you got your hookup. I got to be home and take a shower and be back down to, to the cafe for 7 o'clock. Oh, dinner. that's right. You got to get get back down here. I just got to go home and grill the chicken. <laughs> low, tide, low Tide Tim's birthday is today. Oh, is it? Yeah. How, how old is Low Tide Tim? Uh, 69, I think. You got the camera on? Yeah. Happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> I don't believe it. 29, 29 and not a day over. That's right. <laughs> oh. Round up Rancho Max from the land of Nada. Won't be no leers flying this way. But yet, Beaver did find that one gold ring with all the little ice in it. 10K. That's the only piece of gold I know was found today. But as you can see, it was sort of slow. Life in the lane. See you tomorrow. Bay if it's not windy. Back to Nala if it is. Good luck to everybody. <laughs>